Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a couple more things I learned during the HSM Summit you've heard me talk about previously. But before I do, I wanna tell you how to get the actual files and setups we use to make the parts and demonstrate different functionality. I feel like seeing others work in organizational structures is a great way to learn. For instance, check out all the different setups on just this one part. So if you dig into the data panel and shoot all the way down to the bottom, you'll see the samples. Some are related to training, some show crazy cool simulation samples, but in this case, we want to see CAM samples set up by some very skilled programmers. Further to that, those from the summit will be found in the folder named as such. Once there, take a look at these, and I'm sure you'll learn a thing or two. On this part, I wanted to make a generic chamfer toolpath to show you something that was demonstrated to us. Ignoring the other details for now, let's go to selecting the contours right away. When I do so, something strange happens. It doesn't seem to want to select the chain of edges for this pocket. I can try to select each entity individually, but that's a bit disjointed. Let's clear the current selection and try again. As I go back to select it again, I'll use the long click Select Other, and right away the culprit is brought to light. It seems there are not one, but two separate sketch lines on that edge that Fusion is giving priority to. I'll skip past those in the list, and when I get over the first edge, the expected contour is highlighted in the graphics area. I can select from here, or alternatively hide all the sketches and try again. Good to know, so look out for that happening on your next setup. Next up, compare and edit. Even though this is literally right in front of me, every time I click any toolpath, I somehow managed to overlook it until someone showed me the light. I'll select all the toolpaths tied to this setup. Holding Control in Windows or Command on a Mac lets you continue adding to the selection, or Shift will help you select all between the first and last selection. Anyway, I'll select those and access this amazing tool. When I do, I can get a breakdown of all 233 different parameters related to these six toolpaths. Not only that, but you can also change settings right from this dialog. So although the compare part is best used for multiple toolpaths at once, you can still use it for single toolpaths to quickly dig into and change buried toolpath options. Make sure to see the help file, linked in the description below, to get the lowdown on other details shown and available here, such as color coding and how to use filters and groups, a handy option to use when dealing with so many parameters. I hope that helps. Cheers.